the weekly feed. I'm Kyle and Meredith. Walk the Moon are back. Hello. It's great to see you guys again. It's great Let's to be here, it. dude. Uh, what it, we, we've been talking off mic before this, and so many things have changed. We go way back to the beginning, and I, and I feel like yeah. I should be able to say that at this time. Like, I don't get to say that with a lot of bands, but, geez, our relationship goes back to that very first little moment. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember coming in here and loading in our, our stuff in the performance room back there yeah. a long, long time ago. When, like, yeah. some of the first times we were ever playing some of those songs. Yeah. And I think, yeah. I think... Uh, probably the first copy of anything you had from us was like a CDR. Was the CDR because uh, a it was jacket with handwriting on it. Brian, who was playing with the CD seeds at the time, had passed it up and said, "You got to yeah. hear this this band. Like oh, this yeah. is yes, we will play this all the time." <laughs> will, and, uh, anyway, man, it's been a great few years for you guys. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Yeah, this isn't a bad little life you guys are leading. Yeah, it's uh, going all right. If the, if the dreams are coming true, you know. I don't know. You, you, bought, a, you bought a lawnmower. I the dreams are coming yeah. through. Yes. I mean, <laughs> when you can say that you bought a lawnmower at when you have 28. Something, when you have something to mow. Yeah. I mean, that's, there, you go. there you go. He's the only one so far. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all trying to catch up. What's going to be the equivalent of your lawnmower? What's that going to be? It's. I don't know. I have a, I have a cat. I need a new litter box, probably. It's, it's yeah. going to be a fancy litter box. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be the, the best. Only the best litter box. It's going to have a little scratch pole on the back. Yeah. Nothing but the best for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about this because uh, the new record, uh, Talking is Hard, I, I have written down here, interviews are hard. <laughs> and then that reminded me of the Radiohead thing of meeting people is easy. Right. Yeah. Right. And it goes, all goes around because I feel for the musicians. Like, I'm always the one on this side. I just have to think of the questions and you don't know what's coming at you. And talking does become very hard. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what you're talking about here, but at the same time, it's like... I, interviews are hard. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, there's something all-encompassing about what we ended up with with the record title, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, is, it is the day-to-day. -day. Like, right. we are in this world where, you know, you can talk to anyone on the planet instantaneously, okay. but it's still difficult just to have a conversation yeah. with someone right in front of you. I think um, it becomes more and more important that, uh, you know, you're able to, to articulate yourself and express yourself, you know, when there's just the saturation of media and other people's opinions going around, you know? Like, what the hell do I think? Right. Yeah. And that's what we all want to know, what you guys think. Hey. What are you thinking about today? Now, I wish, I, it, with that in mind, I, I do, I wish, so I get to go and, and think about all these things and come prepared with questions. I'd love to do that with every conversation I have all day long. <laughs> like, these are my starter things. Like, hi. Right. <laughs> like, you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, it, it, it's a great album. Um, Thank you. It's different than the first album, and I guess I don't. I can I, I can't find the word. Concise comes to mind. Like pop isn't easy to write. You know, I feel like anybody can pull out an acoustic guitar and pull a GCD out. You know, and mm -hmm. it, it might not be the greatest song ever, but you can pull it off. But pop seems like that's a really difficult thing when you guys are doing that, and you are a brand of pop rock. You know, for sure. I mean, I think pop music just means you know music for the people, right? Yeah, it's right. music that that um, lots of people can get into. And I don't know, for us, we always wanted to be like the bands like Coldplay and Green Day that were rock bands that made it into the pop world and, right. and stayed true to themselves. And, um, and people love them for that, you yeah. know? But like, how long does it take you guys from the beginning of a song to get it from here, you know, to, to where it's, it's ready for press? All, all different amounts of time. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, for the, especially, for this album, we we had to take that into account. Yeah. So this is the first time that we weren't we didn't have a lifetime to write. This no, you're album. on the clock now. Yes. And uh, and so for the first time ever, we actually took time out. Uh, we took six weeks out of lat well two years ago. Uh, yeah, summer. Wow, Jeez. summer 2013. Yeah, summer 2013. Yeah. Uh, we moved into an old Masonic lodge in northern, actually northern yeah, Kentucky, right. right across the river from Cincinnati. And and uh, we, we got to live there and write there and just be creative in a space all to ourselves, And it was a very inspiring space. But that's got to be so different uh, of saying where it, would, where it would just organically you'd be writing over a few years and like, no, we have a good group of songs. And now it's like clean slate. Yeah. yeah. Now we have to do it in the box. Yeah. Well, and we had, we had a, you know, sort of stock of ammunition from the last, the, the previous like three and a half years of touring, you know, stuff we'd come up with on the road or yeah. in hotel rooms and whatnot. And so to be able to sort of funnel all that into this into this 
uh, one set of six weeks yeah. was really So it's the next awesome. album that's going to be really hard. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually rewrote, we, we went in, into, the, into the lodge with the goal of writing a song every day. We ended up with 50 songs for the record. Wow. So we got a bunch of ammo for the next one. Yeah. yeah. And, and ultimately, we're probably going to write another 50. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally, totally. going to happen. When does, the, uh, when does the acoustic album come? Right? Yeah. Um, like, you, you can look back uh, at the history of, of, of bands like that you guys kind of take influence from, bands that you'd be in the same genre or whatever for, and you kind of see the arc of what happens, like, here it is, here it is, and then there's the acoustic album. Right. And it's like, now we've got to do something completely different. Yeah. That's funny. I was just pulling out my old Coldplay record, and, like, they're, each, each one is so drastically so different. different. So different. Yeah. yeah. And, and they have such a, like, uh, a lengthy, I mean, they, they have such a long career, such a, a varied catalog or whatever. These are big, these are big, these are uh, vocab words. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, it's just, I don't know what, what turns we're going to take. I mean, yeah. with this record, we wanted, we went in with the ambition of, of exploring uncharted territory. We wanted to, like, go darker and go more soundscape -y and mm -hmm. romantic, and we wanted to try um, anything. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm really stoked with what we ended up with. So I keep hearing about the darker thing. What makes this album darker? Is, is it the lyrics? Because I know, and I've got a few songs we're going to talk about here, but is it lyrics or, or is it a, a tone, mindset that you guys were looking for? I, I think it's both. Yeah, I think mean, we, we really wanted to get serious about some stuff. Yeah. You know, um, kind of, kind of, not get away, but graduate from party mm -hmm. band status right. to, right. you know, we, we got so much stuff we're dealing with personally on a daily basis and as a society. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we've got a platform that we can talk about those things from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. What you do, which you start out the record with different colors, mm -hmm. and this is the, uh, you know, the LGBTQ community you say you're talking about here. Uh, the first thing I found interesting about that is you, know, you guys do really, really well on alternative radio. And historically, that's not a part of two worlds that come together. Uh -huh. you know, was, was that at all challenging for you guys to, to step out and say, we're going to make this happen. We're going to make sure this is an issue. We're going to show everyone what's going on. I mean, and, and, and we're going to put it right at the beginning of the album. So this is the first <laughs> thing you hear. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, um, it's something that in our, I think in our families and in, in our friend groups that um, people's differences were just kind of accepted and celebrated. Yeah, right. And um, more and more that's becoming the norm, but it's not quite yet, you know? And the old class hasn't uh, completely died. Right. That's, that's, that's what yeah. we have to get to, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, and so I, it's just, like like you said, we have this platform and it's, an, it's important to us that we are, uh, you know, like a positive message and, and, and really the whole, the record as a whole is about empowerment. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. yeah. And I guess I find it interesting that we're still Unfortunately, having this that conversation. I know it's yeah. it's kind of crazy. because you yeah. know as we're growing up and everything, you know, you just with with our, with our you know with our people our own age group, I guess it doesn't become a thing, and then it almost becomes every four years with a new election, uh -huh. you get hot button issues. Right. That's one of them. Uh, you know, we've got Laura Jane Grace with the you know talking transgender and everything, and that's mm -hmm. become the hot button issue. It's like. I didn't expect that we would still be having this conversation in 2015. I know. Yeah. I and know. You know the, the, the things we talk about, this happened because it happened. We weren't trying to, we weren't sitting around in the, in the Sonic like Just looking saying, like, for the, Let's yeah, talk right. about this yeah. issue because yeah, exactly. it's a newspaper. It's, it's just, it's such a part of our lives and, it's, uh, and we've discovered so much, di so many differences just from traveling and meeting yeah. so many different people that yeah. it just becomes part of the conversation so naturally and yeah uh, and we've we've yeah. met so many people after shows that um, have I don't know uh, derive some strength from our music yeah. and some courage and that's like ah oh, that is amazing right that's, that's like the, the moment right there yeah right. that's the most incredible feeling so taking ownership of that yeah. and going for that you know is is something new for us I guess on oh, this record I loved it and, and on top of it, it's a good song <laughs> that helps, you know. Yeah, it's hey, actually a good yeah. song. And nice. the other one, up to you. Uh, I know I've heard you talk about, you know, uh, having the song. To, I don't know if it, having the song to change the world. I don't know if that's the right <laughs> way to put that and everything. But with everything going on out there, yeah, and trying to push that through, you can hear that in your scream at the <laughs> end. You know, it all bubbles up, and you can just kind of hear that frustration coming out. Yeah, and whatever that's. Well, about. and the more that you know, like you said, like it's hard to believe we're still having this conversation yeah. about, you know. Like things like equality and, right, right. and like the more time we spend talking about that which maybe should be second nature we're 
we're losing time on other issues, um, you know, that that are affecting the world, you know, climate change and whatnot. That we're just like, okay, we're we need to put some energy into this, or else, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah. I've asked this question before. Do you, do you think a song can change the world? Yeah. And, and it's a, it's, a, it's almost <laughs> a difficult thing. And I and I've heard both sides of this, you know. But I I actually got a tweet, or I, we we get fan letters. Um, from occasionally from city to city, and this one fan put it in such an awesome way that I realized that the music, how did she put it? Something like the music didn't change me. It gave me the It gave strength. me the strength yeah. to, to, to be the change or yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, to do that in myself. So it's so maybe a song a song isn't gonna change the world, but it might inspire someone else to do it. I don't know. There comes the butterfly effect. Yeah, yeah. butterfly effect. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it, it's it's just like an in up to you, what we're talking about is a lot of people are sitting around talking about these things and not realizing that we are the people who are going to make the difference. Right. We're gonna, if we want the world to change, we've got to do it ourselves. So take power, you know, all, this, yeah. all this social media that's happening, yeah. all this uh, giving us the ability to sit behind a computer screen and do it isn't, isn't the same as getting out there and doing it. But getting some people to talk because yeah. talking is hard. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> just start, yeah. It, sometimes just starting the conversation yeah. is everything, yeah. Yeah, it, it was looking back and there was some goofy commercial on TV and burning witches and everything like that. Oh, the wow. conversation about how, how did that happen in history? How did that happen? That? Yeah. that was a real thing, you know, because you had these, these uh, small groups of people that were cut off from everybody else and so everything different was scary. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to what we were talking about. And here we are in 2015 and you still have small groups of people who are cut off from everything. Yeah. That it yeah. becomes scary, you know. And we realize, and we've got to realize that a hundred a hundred years from now, we're gonna look back and be like, oh, what how were we doing that? Yeah. Right. Crazy people talking about this yeah. back in yeah. 2015. Yeah. Well, it, it just takes people pushing it, uh, pushing it yeah. forward. So. Yeah. yeah. I would say thank you for for, for all of that. <laughs> well, thanks for giving us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the opportunity I, on the lighter side of thing, I do want to say, uh, so shut up and dance becomes huge. That must have been a relief. <laughs> because, yeah. Because let's say yeah. Anna's Sun comes out and, and, and it, is, it just sweeps. This is one of the greatest anthems of the last decade. I, I will put every bit of me behind Wow. It is, it is an amazing song. Okay. It is, though. It's, it's great. Uh, and, and you come out with that, you, the EP, the follows, you know, Tightrope does really well, but shut up and dance. I mean, at some point you're going, okay, everybody's watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something's got to happen. You know, we certainly, I mean, it's not like Anna Sun was a massive ubiquitous you know sure. uh, uh, mega hit but it did it felt that way to us at least in our van and like you know it, it took it's us all relative right yeah, yeah it took yeah. us all around the country right. many times and like wow okay like this you know uh, we've, we've really got to uh, at least do as well as that <laughs> and that yeah. that alone is terrifying yeah. you know yeah being able to, to keep raising the bar little by little right. has been so amazing such a good experience because we're not we're not drastically changing you know we're, we're just little by little reaching more people and getting out there and a little bit each time a little bit each time yeah and uh, it feels really good you know just 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 a little bit better than Anna Sun <laughs> great yeah. you're still there we kind of trounced it yeah. <laughs> but that's I, great. I, I, was, I was so surprised because I hadn't paid that close of attention as to where everything landed and everything and you look at just like Spotify you know listens like by two million or three million or something yeah. like the difference, like yeah. that's a difference. It's wild. So yeah. that's not bad. And there's so many good songs all across this record. I know we could oh, talk about you. it all day long, but I am uh, I am so proud of you boys, right where you, you so came, much. and it's so thank cool you. to talk to you again. Absolutely. We'll see you down the road. All right. All right. All right. It's the weekly feed. See you later.